Well, Penn State University continues to feel the fallout from the Sandusky child abuse scandal, but a local family story shown right here on Coin Local 6 is helping ease some of the pain. Coin Local 6 reporter Tim Becker is here now with a follow-up to this. And Tim, national response to this story has been amazing, hasn't it? Yeah, Kelly, I mean, holy cow. We first aired this story less than two weeks ago, and the Willie family from right here in Happy Valley, uh, Oregon, has been hearing from Penn State fans ever since. Unbelievable. Here's someone from Happy Valley, Oregon that wants a scarf from Allison. Carol Willie and her family still can't believe some of the Facebook feedback. Wow. They're getting to be well known in some circles. If you have contact information for the family, we'd love to give them a shout out. 12 days after it aired on Coin Local 6, their story continues to sweep across Penn State Nation. This morning, the university posted it on their Facebook page, and Penn Staters, hungry to hear anything positive about their school, are chiming in by the hundreds. And I'd asked you for the link, saying that we would share it with some people. <laughs> Their story now has close to 10,000 views online. When we first met the Willie family, it was to share their positive connection with the university. I got the whole schedule right here. In the That's the color of kidney cancer. Okay. So literally the only place we can see this color is on Penn State's campus. Learning about the school's Lift for Life fundraiser, football players generating money for kidney cancer, was a huge miracle morale booster for the Willies when John and his father-in-law both learned they had the disease. So the other side's not actually done yet, but it will have matching lettering in blue. One thing they do to give back is sell homemade Penn State scarves, with all the proceeds going to fight kidney cancer. The next one also wants to buy a scarf, and six people like that one. Suddenly, those scarves Alice and Willie started making a few years back are in huge demand after today's Facebook posting by Penn State. This is definitely the largest amount of people we've had <laughs> respond to us at one time by a lot. The Willies now have a supply and demand problem to solve, but it's a dilemma they're happy to deal with. I really feel like Penn State people are uniting and spreading the good things that Penn State does, and that's a, a great thing to be a part of. Well, there you go. That is the positive side of social media. I said close to 10,000 online views in the segment you just watched. Well, since we put the story together today, it's gone up to more than over 11,000 views. The Willies tell me they're getting a lot of email and letters from people at Penn State that they don't even know. Reporting for you, Tim Becker, Coin Local 6.